translated as saying, Blessed is he who is coming, may he whose power is over everything, may he whose blessing is over everything, may he whose greatness is over everything, and may he whose uniqueness is over and above everything, may he bless the chassan and the kava. <laughs> this is a song that is traditionally sung to the chassan and kala, to the bride and groom, at their wedding ceremony. You know, most of the song really is traditional, as a traditional tune. But I've added a portion. So that is why I added it to my original compositions. Now the opening words, Baruch Haba, blessed is he, but it can also mean they. So when we say Baruch Haba, is it, a gre it is a greeting both to the couple who are about to be married, but Haba has a, the gematria, a numerical value of eight. You know, the number seven is a number that deals with the nature, seven days of the week, seven days of creation. Eight, on the other hand, alludes to something that is above this world, much like a circumcision done on the eighth day, something that is spiritual in nature. So the greeting may also be directed to God Almighty, who we invite to bless the couple we begin by acknowledging all of God's Almighty's greatness. And then, after we've done that, we ask Him for a blessing to the couple entering the sacred union of marriage. It's interesting, the word marriage is called Kedushin, from the word Kadush, holy. Just as an aside, it's, you know, we're supposed to emulate God. Being that being the case, one would have thought God's single. <laughs> so maybe we shouldn't get married. Why do we get married if we're supposed to emulate God and He's single? So the answer may well be that 
Why is God single and why do we get married? God's single because he's perfect. Marriage, on the other hand, is two opposites that come together, an azer connecto, a helpmate that's opposite them. You know, if someone's exact same as you are, you become dogmatic. You learn nothing. You go nowhere. But when you're with someone who has a different opinion, a different way of looking at things, A's marry B's. Mm -hmm. You know, it's funny, people say that opposites attract. Not in any world do opposites attract. All it creates is conflict. Mm -hmm. But that conflict, through that conflict, through that difference, the A and the B grow, and they become a C, a much better person than the A and the B. God, on the other hand, is perfect. Therefore, he doesn't need a mate to help him to grow. He's there by himself. So again, the wedding song. Baruch Habo Baruch Habo listening. God bless. Be well. Please subscribe if you haven't and uh, push like and please share with your friends. Again, stay happy, stay healthy, stay safe. God should bless you with only good. Thank you very much for listening. Mm -hmm.